Research by the World Bank shows that North America hosts about 500,000 East Africans. This population contributes to national development through remittances back home. The money that they remit in all East African countries is about 10 to 15 billion dollars. That's a lot of money annually that East African uh, community members in the diaspora or abroad are investing. Now, the Secretary General of the East African Community, Dr. Peter Mathuki, has embarked on mobilizing East Africans in America to invest in the region. Dr. Mathuki is meeting East Africans in Dallas, Texas. It's important that uh, we strengthen this. Every longest journey begins with a single step. And this is the step we are starting of formally engaging diaspora. This engagement will result in the development of a diaspora policy to facilitate the East Africans to invest at home. Beyond policy, we need to have a law, and that could be a regional law uh, done by the East African Legislative Assembly that protects you. In the long run, maybe mobilize them into coming up with what we may call maybe a trust fund so that East African community or partner states can borrow into that trust fund rather than running to loan sharks from all across. However, the East Africans in the U.S. are concerned that their relatives back home continue to swindle their hard-earned dollars. Because some of these people are not working, they, they are just waiting for the remittances that you are sending and fighting for it. And now, for the cases I had in Uganda, Relatives threatening that if you ever step on Ugandan soil, we shall kill you. 22 years in this country, and I'm tired and sick of sending money back home. I tried to buy property in Uganda and in Tanzania. I couldn't. I thought my passport was something valuable because I can go there without a visa. I can't do it. An interesting analogy that we, we surely need to take back home as one of the things that we need to question what it is that we can do as, um, I mean, Minister of Finance and Central Bank in facilitating this. And I think that would, be, would go a very long way in supporting people who want to buy properties. People have been coming from home, home governments, and now the East African community is coming here telling us, please come home. Come invest. Come see us. People come. They don't have much time. You can't come to see somebody in an office three times and you fail to see that person and you come back again. We want accessibility. I was born in Uganda. Yes, I was born in Uganda. I came here very young. And most people always, you know, you're not, you're either too Americanized or you're not Ugandan enough. But you know what? I'm extremely proud of being an East African. I'm extremely proud of being a Ugandan. And those connections have to be made because I love my country. Uganda is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Amosa Simwe, she has these experiences in creating linkages back home in order to find the market for agricultural outputs in the American market. Now, for me in Uganda, I brought stuff here that is acceptable, but I don't have enough. So when I reach the potential market, they look at the FDA certification, they look at the quality, they like everything. Now they say, how much do you have? And they tell you the, 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 the volumes, which I think even if Uganda, we came together, we may not even meet. Right now, I'm, I'm asked to be able to ship minimum to start four containers every three months. We have that quality and quantity issue, but there's a small piece that I've always wondered why, why we don't uh, engage with, which is the African stores that are already set up here. Thousands of East Africans, including Ugandans, are residing in America. Many of them have a mass wealth that requires them to invest back home. However, there are no policies that will allow them to do this. This is the reason as why the East African community has come up to mobilize them and also put up laws that will allow them to invest back home. Jingo Francis, NTV, Dallas, Texas, in the USA.